You know, because, you know, we, because we can't be still, that's a major contributor to why we, um, <laughs> why we experience so much and learn so little. <laughs> Right, because we don't have that capacity to, to, to sit quietly with something and integrate it and be open to it and see how we're being grown by it. You know, so, so another way I would say this is that often we actually do a lot to avoid relationship with ourselves. Um, so I probably don't need to say any more about that or I'll just be talking to myself. Uh, <laughs> You know, I think the thing, the thing to remember is that, that, that we are all in a process. You know, nobody came here as a finished being. You know, that you, on a spiritual journey, came here um, in process. And everything is in process, a process of awakening, awakening to our oneness with God, right? awakening to our connection with other people. You know, and so um, rather than continue to do that age-old technique of sacrificing our soul for our self-image, <laughs> you know, that the science of mind says, well, yes, you have a body, but you are spirit, you are consciousness, you are a soul in evolution. And the more you identify with that, you, when the more you identify with that within you, which is changeless, you know, see, our faith, our faith is growing. Our relationship, uh, 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 that's like saying our relationship to the infinite is growing because we have that little bit of hope, because we have faith, you know. Um, and so my encouragement for all of us is to just make room, a little bit of room. Um, you know, it's just, it's that thing about a little willingness is all that's necessary. Um, you know, it always, it, it always amazes me, and I've seen it a million times, and I'm sure you have too, how when you're walking along and you'll see a crack in the cement or at the corner of a building and the cement come together, and all of a sudden there will be some fabulous flower that seems to be growing out of the cement. And you think, how is that happening? How is that possibly happening? And I think, and I think I've got obstacles. This little guy's growing through cement. My God. All right, let's pray. So we turn our attention inward right now for a moment to just recognize that we are surrounded and filled with a presence of infinite loving spirit. It's the living spirit. It's God Almighty. It's truth. It's consciousness. It's the truth about who and what we are. And so as we come together in thought and prayer today, I speak the word for each and every one of us that we are not in any way, shape, or form hopeless. That there is always hope. There is that grain of consciousness, a little seed of mustard seed, a little light at the end of the tunnel that says you're going to get through this and you're going to be better on the other side. That if you feel like Joseph and you've been in captivity for 13 years, know that God is absolutely going to prosper you on the other side, that your life is going to get better and bigger in every way. So I know for each and every one of us that that spirit of the living God that is within us is greater than anything we face right now. And so I know for each and every one of us also that we are all on a journey. Our soul is on a spiritual journey. Not only is this true for us, it's true for our parents and our children and our friends and loved ones. Every soul is on a journey. And so the greatest and best thing we can do for them is to know that that right where they are, the presence, the perfect presence of God is, filling their mind and guiding their actions, expressing as the energy of their heart. And so we let our prayer also be a blessing in the world. So those situations that look fearful or difficult, we say God is right there as a perfect outcome. We bless our church, all churches, Synagogues, temples, mosques, ashrams, all paths to God. We bless them all. And so with an open, gracious, full heart, we give thanks and release this word. I know it's done, and so it is. Together we all say, Amen.